three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about exchange mapping. When you exchange fixtures, the console will attempt to map functions on the new fixture to the same functions on the old fixture so that your show does not look any different with the changed fixtures. However, this may not always work out quite right, so using exchange mapping, you can manually map functions between the fixtures. For example, this allows you to map the old gobos to similar new gobos, even if they are not in the same wheel position, and to ensure that rotation speeds work the same. Any changes made will apply immediately to the show. Mappings are remembered and will be used whenever you exchange the same fixture in the future, though you can restore the factory mappings at any time should you need to using the clear all mapping soft key. Press view slash open then the patch to open the patch view screen. Select the exchange mapping tab. In the lowest most column, click the fixture type of the new type of fixture which you have changed to. The view shows the old fixture on the left and the new fixture on the right with the attributes listed for both fixture types. You can sort through the list either alphabetically or in DMX channel order using the sort context menu option. Select an attribute to show the mapping. The map attribute on both fixtures will highlight in light blue. Brown controls are not mapped. The center of the view shows the individual functions of the selected attribute and the color lines show how these map between the fixtures. To map a function, click on the source function, then the destination function. Any previous mapping will be removed. You can map multiple source functions to a single destination function. To unmap a function, double click on the source function. If there are multiple sources mapped, double click the destination function. To move a mapping, click the existing destination, then click the new destination. Where a fixture has been exchanged from more than one source fixture, you can switch between them by selecting the relevant source fixture under the Exchange From column. When you change the mapping, the Unsaved Changes option will pop up at the bottom of the screen. Here you can store the new mappings by pressing Apply. Forget the changes by pressing Cancel or Restore all mappings to Avalice Factory Default by pressing Reset. All actions have to be confirmed by pressing the Confirm on the Soft key. So let's see that in action. Here I've got the Titan Go interface on version 13. So I go ahead and open up, press the view key, and then patch. It brings up my patch view. I can see all of the patch fixtures in my show. Now I've already exchanged some of BMFLs for Mac Vipers earlier. So I go ahead and click the Exchange Mapping tab. And I go ahead and select my Mac Vipers. We can see that my source fixture is BMFL Blades and my destination fixture is Mac Vipers. So you see all of the different attributes here. If they are brown or gold, as I like to call it, colored means that they do not map to the other fixture. The other fixture may not contain the same attribute. So we'll go down here to Gobos. If we go to Gobo 1 on our BMFL Blade, well, we can see that uh, it selects one and two because the BMFL blade has two Gobo wheels, whereas the Mac Viper only has one. And we see here, if we look at our fixtures are mapped across Gobo wheel one of the BMFL blade, it goes to Gobo one on the Mac Viper performance, which would be open. And the same thing goes from Gobo one to Gobo one, from Gobo two to Gobo two, three to three, so on and so forth. So let's say that in our BMFL blades that Gobo 1 is a nice crosshatch, but that is Gobo 3 in our Mac Vipers. Rather than have to go through and change our palettes, we go and simply click on Gobo 1 on this side, then click on Gobo 3 here, then hit Apply and Confirm. And now we can see Gobo 1 of our, of our source fixture maps to Gobo 3 of our destination fixture. So any programming we had that came that used Gobo 1 in our original fixture, we'll now use Gobo 3 in our destination fixture. If the destination function has a range, for example, 0 to 100, you can adjust the range to which the source function is mapped. Where multiple source functions are mapped to a single destination function with a range, separate destination buttons are shown, allowing you to set the different destination range for each function. To set the range, First select a destination function, then click the edit ranges option at the bottom of the window, then select the function whose range you wish to change. 
Note that it will only be possible to adjust the range of a mapped function. Any functions that are not mapped or are not ranges will gray out. You can adjust the maximum and minimum values for the range either by wheel, by touching the wheel view on touch consoles, or by selecting the relevant soft key and entering the value. Once complete, click Apply, then Confirm to commit the changes or to cancel, then Confirm to forget. So let's see that in action. Let's say that in my source fixture, my beam of hell blades, that when the iris is at 0% uh, for my flown height, it is about a meter across, but in my Mac Vipers, it ends up being about a half meter across. So what I can do is I can adjust it so that my Mac Vipers iris doesn't go as any smaller than I was expected to, or any larger on the obverse. So I go ahead and select iris from my functions here, and then click edit ranges, and then iris. And I'll say that the minimum I want it to get down to is 10% in my selection fixture, so I can go ahead and type in 10. And then hit apply and confirm. So now my iris for my Mac Viper won't get smaller than 10% and it will stay as large as it should have in my original fixture. So that's exchange mapping. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks. Bye. Stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.